by Tarasai Makakire Zimbabwe Consolidated Diamond Company ZCDC employee who allegedly connived with his workmates and manipulated security and closed circuit television CCTV and exchanged fake gems for original ones without detection was denied bail yesterday. Zimbabwe Consolidated Diamond Company in the process, the ZCDC lost diamonds worth more than $500,000. Anas Udaweyo, 34, who was employed in the diamond sorting division where the precious stones were graded, was denied bail and remanded in custody to January 12. When he appeared before Harare magistrate Rumbidze Mugwagwa charged with theft, there is overwhelming evidence against this accused person and the fact that he did not appear in court when his co-accused persons were arrested shows that he was elusive. Mugwagwa ruled, it is not in dispute that the accused person assisted police to recover a motor vehicle bought with proceeds of the crime, but for that reason it is this court's finding that the accused person is not a fit and proper candidate for bail. The investigating officer, Damson Chatu Kuta, opposed DWO's admission to bail on basis that he did not dispute his involvement in the case. Accused is facing serious allegations of theft from an employer who earns revenue for the government of Zimbabwe, the offence has a negative bearing on the economy of the country. Chatu Kuta said, evidence against him is overwhelming such that he is likely to be convicted if the matter goes to trial. Accused person also led detectives to recovery of a Toyota Wish vehicle that he purchased on October 26 using proceeds of the crime. The court heard that immediately after committing the offence the way Yo used proceeds of the diamond sale to purchase a Toyota motor vehicle that was later surrendered to the police after his arrest. Prosecutor Sebastian Mutizier were alleged that between January 1 and December 21 this year at 90 Mutare Road, ZCDC offices in Harare, Deweyo was employed by the complainant. As a sorter, the court heard that his duties included grading and handling of diamonds inside the sort house at ZCDC, Deweyo reportedly connived with other employees to buy a smooth kundu, Elfas Dakar and Stalin Manyani to steal the precious mineral from their employer. According to state papers Mukundu was an internal security guard responsible for protecting diamonds from theft by employees. Dakar a sorter and Manyani operated the closed-circuit television CCTV monitoring movements to detect thefts that would occur within the company. Acting in common purpose with a suspected illegal diamond dealer Tapi Wamarange who is still at large Dawayo. And his gang would take turns to smuggle fake diamonds into the sword house. The court heard that Dwayo's workmates, Mukundu and Manyani would make sure that their colleagues were not detected at security and CCTV levels facilitating smooth exchange of the diamonds for fake ones. It was alleged that Dawayo would use fake diamonds that he had the same weight as the original ones in a bid to cover up the offence. After the diamonds would have been stolen Mukundu and Manyani would ensure that Deweyo leaves the sort house where diamonds are graded without being detected by CCTV or internal security. According to state papers the diamonds would sell the stolen diamonds to a known black market dealer in United States dollars before sharing the proceeds among themselves. Daily News